Hi, thanks for checking our channel. Here's going to be a repair video, hopefully on this um, Cashman's CS6000. I never even heard of the brand Cashman's, but uh, I look them up online. I can see what they are, you know, based on what the, what the look of it is. But I've um, never worked on this uh, particular brand before, but, you know, if, you, if you've worked on enough fence charge, you kind of learn tricks of the trade, things to test, and how to test about two or three things and you can usually narrow down where your problem is if you're good at it so but we've been at it for about 20 years working on these fence boxes and look at this by look at that it's a capacitor about a four-year-old unit but it just look at this burned a hole right in the lighting got a hold of it and it just burned the hell out of the capacitor if there's smell of vision you know electrical burn smells smell like that's what this smells like <laughs> There. All right, so I was gonna plug it in, but I picked it up and something rolled around the inside. It's like I'm not gonna plug it in. The customer owns this has been into it, just I guess looking around. So I don't know if it's a piece of plastic that's broke, if it's the part that's bad on it that's broke. Don't know, but we're gonna take the screws out of this. This is a uh, tooth, ooh, not that old, 2023 model, based on the when it was manufactured, so about a year old. All right, well, capacitor's been unplugged, but that's not a big deal. Plug it back in here. All right, well, there's MOD that goes right there completely missing burned right off there there's a little round like it's like a skittle sits about an m m sits about right there right below that big black diode there so oh i just found it that was what was rolling around the inside and the coat is completely gone so we need to replace that, but let's do a couple checks on um, four devices, actually five. Check the fuse first, there's two of them on this one, and then we'll um, check the diode up here, that's a big black one, we'll check it real quick good that's good uh, pull that heat sink off and check this SCR this dialed's good 99% of the time this SCR is fine as well reverse my leads yeah, that's fine um, we'll check the primary the transformer I'm gonna unplug one of the wires test across it just the primary of the transformer on all of them are a closed loop should be zero point something ohms we're in 0 0.3 so primary is fine so maybe we might luck out and just be that little MOV that's uh, completely burned off there um, I don't have the exact identical one Ooh, excuse me that was on there I got one I've used before and it works fine. I think it's a little bit higher voltage capacity, but it works just fine. So I gotta get the soldered iron warmed up. Let's get the desolder braid out. Hopefully we can just this is a double-sided board, a double-sided soldered board. I got soldered on the back side and on the front side, which uh, makes it kind of a pain in the neck. So, oh, I see the solder iron ready to go. So I'm going to try to pull the solder off both spots, this desolder braid. Let's 
see if it'll see if we can heat that up and pull those leads through. Let's put a little solder on my on the tip here. Come on. Break off or pull out? Well, I pulled it off there. That's good. I pulled it all the way through. I was hoping it didn't break the lead off in the board. Okay, let's. There's no polarity to this. If it doesn't fit in the hole, then we're going to take the a small drill bit that will widen up the hole. Nope, it should fit. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully everything else is fine. Okay. All right, let's plug into the power strip. Flip the switch on the power strip. Uh, hopefully, nothing blows and burns, and no smoke shows up. Flashing, but it ain't ticking. So that means the board is cycling, but it's not able to discharge. Let's check. I doubt the capacitor is bad, but capacitor is not bad. But one of them wires is. I'll show you. I was going to pull the lead off there to test the capacitor, but look at look right there. So it's black right there. This capacitor is not getting power to that spot. I bet that wire is broke right there. I don't know if what came first, chicken or the egg. Did that piece go bad because of that? Or did this go bad because of that? It's hard to say. But now this capacitor probably got a charge. Possibly may have a charge built up in it, but probably not. Oh, yeah. Well, there's, there's even a hole in the back side there. That just comes from experience of working on things. You kind of notice uh, the little details because if you're working on enough of this stuff, you kind of learn what things are supposed to look like. You know, I never worked on this model, or this brand before. I worked on ones very, very similar to this. That one looks okay, but let's plug. I don't know if this capacitor got a charge on it or not, but we're going to plug the wires back in. But we're going to. I'll work on it like it's live, the uh, capacitor. Come on. Shoot. Cut right through that damn thing. Let's get a... Oh, I need a red spade connector.
Come on. Now, if it still won't work, I'll check the capacitor then, and then we'll dip, if that's good, we'll dig deeper in the board or replace the board. Let's plug it in and see what happens now. Shit. Could be this wire bad too. Let's check the capacitor, I guess. I wouldn't think it'd be bad. It's only a year and a half old unit. Pastor don't go bad that often. This is a uh, 40 microfarad capacitor. And 39.8. Let's um, lift this board up. Let's do a continuity check between the wires. Let's go to this wire to this terminal. The meter should beep at me. That one's good. Between this wire and this terminal. Hmm, look at that. Nothing. no hole in it but not burnt looking like the other one was but if I look real close I don't know if this is just cosmetic or this is actual issue a little discoloration right there in the center of that maybe that's hard to say well let's change that connector now I don't know if I got another new board in stock for this model or not. I don't, don't know. I'll have to look and see. Okay, let's get these wires. Underneath board. Come on. plug wires back in Ugh. all right now let's try it again one two three there we go hit clicking now we're in good shape I'll put a meter across here in a second. Let's put a little spark. Let's put a little scooter across here and see if it's spark it through. Test the output, turn it off real quick, pull these knobs off. I didn't get shocked by, by accident. Should probably be about 6,000, 7,000 volts, I would guess. All right, we're supposed to be. So there's nothing else floating around there.
All right. This one's done. We'll write the customer up, give him a call, we'll go fix it. Camera's not picking it up every single time because the frame rate or whatever's off, but it is flashing a single time. All right, well, this one's done. Thanks for checking out another one of our videos on YouTube here, and got another one going. Till next time, see you guys later on.